Hello guys, Game Boy Hub here. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a little experiment. A while back, I uploaded a video where I installed Windows XP on RAM. And well, if that sounds crazy, it pretty much is. But there is a way to do this, which is using a program called Primo RAM Disk, which basically turns a fraction of your RAM into a bootable storage disk. And on that disk, you can install any operating system you want. And it is quite cool because you can say that you are running an operating system directly from RAM. And today, we're gonna be trying to install Windows 11 on RAM. And we're gonna be trying to do that using a version of Windows 11 called Tiny11, which is made to fit on only 8 gigabytes of storage. So we're gonna see if that's gonna be possible today. Before we get started, I wanna thank you guys for all the support that I've gotten on this channel over the last few months. It has really been incredible. And also, I just wanted to announce that right now I am back from holiday, I'm done with college, and I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in quite a while. But yeah, now we are back on schedule and videos are gonna be coming out pretty soon. So yeah, now that I've explained everything, let's just get started with the video. So what is Primo RAM Disk? So it is a program that looks something like this. And by clicking on this button right over here, you basically allocate a fraction of your computer's RAM over to a storage disk, where you can then put stuff on there. Now, an interesting thing with RAM is that RAM gets wiped every time you turn your computer off. So it would be impossible to install an OS directly on RAM, because every time you'd need to restart in the setup process, it would just get wiped and you wouldn't get anywhere but it is perfectly possible to install an OS in a virtual machine and then put the OS's virtual hard drive on the RAM disk, which means you are technically running that OS from RAM. So now let me create an eight gigabyte RAM disk and I will put that under the letter R for RAM and I'll just click create and there we go. Now we have our RAM disk right over here and it is eight gigabytes in size and formatted to NTFS. And if we check this out under this PC, you can see that our RAM disk shows up normally and we can enter it. And the only thing it has inside of it is a temp folder. And in that folder, there is absolutely nothing. And yeah, this disk is actually running from our RAM and I'll just prove that right now. So I'll just enter Crystal Disk Mark, which is a program that is used to test read and write speeds on drives. And you can see that we have our C drive right over here and our R drive, which is the RAM disk right here. So let's test the speed out on our C drive and now it is testing all of the speeds of our C drive. My C drive is an M.2 SSD so the speeds should be quite fast. And there you go, the test has completed and you can see all of these numbers right here. Now this is the read speed of the disk and this is the write speed of the disk. And you don't have to know what any of this means, just wait until we test the RAM disk. So the biggest number was 3484, then we got 2284 right here. This is about 1700, this is 2700 and then these are in the hundreds and this is 38 and then 100. So now let's test the RAM disk and just bear in mind what the other speeds were. And here are the results of the RAM disk speed test, and you can see that they are pretty incredible. So yeah, RAM can produce some pretty incredible speeds when it comes to storage and even when it comes to other things. But yeah, the only problem with it is that it gets wiped every time you restart the computer, so basically that is why no one uses this. So yeah, now we're gonna go into VMware and create a virtual machine for tiny Windows 11 and we're going to install it on this RAM disk. And here we are in VMware Workstation and I've got the tiny 11 ISO right over here on the desktop. So we're gonna go over to file, we're gonna create a new virtual machine and we're gonna select the tiny 11 image right over here. Click next. 
it is Windows 11 64 bit and now we're going to go for the location and for the location we are actually going to select the RAM disk. So we're going to go over to this PC and click on the RAM disk right over here and click OK. And then we're going to click Next. We're going to click Next right over here. It is UEFI boot. We're going to go for four processors at two cores. Click Next. We will give it four gigs of RAM because we're already allocating eight gigs to the RAM disk. So we're just going to click Next. Next right here. Next right here. Next right here. Create a new disk and we're gonna go for 7.9 gigabytes and just hope that that is going to be enough. How is 7.9 gigs not enough? We got 7.943, you want? Let's change this to 7.5 and hope it works. Oh, why? Why is it doing that? Hmm, that's pretty interesting. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so I've had some issues with storage. So I've managed to create a bit of a bigger RAM disk. So we're gonna try this right now. So let's try to create a new virtual machine right now. We will once again select our RAM disk and click next. Okay, and I've managed to create an eight gigabyte disk right now. I also gave the machine or I haven't. I have. Okay, I have managed to do it. So now let's click on power on this virtual machine and see if this is actually going to be possible. We are going to boot from CD or DVD and here we go. We are booting into the Windows 11 startup. So now I'll just full screen everything. There we go. Now the setup is full screen. So now we can continue setting up this version of Windows. So let's hope that this will actually be possible. I'll speed up the entire process and let's hope that we actually get Windows 11 installed onto the RAM disk. And this is also supposed to be quite faster than usual because we are installing it on a really fast disk. So I'll just leave everything here as it is. I'll accept the terms. We've got eight gigabytes of storage. We're going to click next. Okay, we're going to create a new partition on this drive. And now this is a primary partition. So let's go over to format. So now we have an eight gigabyte primary partition and it does say that we need more than 52 gigabytes, but I'm pretty sure that this is disabled in tiny Windows 11. So let's just click next. Hmm, interesting. So we couldn't get rid of that error. So let's just go into disk part. We can type in list disk and yeah, we do get the disk right here. Okay, so I couldn't solve that storage issue, but I did some more messing around and I've managed to squeeze out a almost 11 gigabyte RAM disk. So now we have 10 gigs on here, which should be plenty for tiny 11. So I'm just gonna hope that it lets us select that disk as our destination. But yeah, we're gonna see right now because the setup is starting. There we go. So now I can hit next here, accept the agreement. And here is our 10 gigabyte disk. So please work. Oh my god, it did. <laughs> Nice, so you do need an at least 10 gig disk. It does still give you that warning about 52 gigabytes, but it lets you bypass it if you have enough. So yeah, we're gonna continue with this installation and let's hope that we can actually get this up and running. I'll just start the time lapse right now and I'll be back when this is installed. And here we are inside of Tiny11. Everything is loading up still. I have no idea why we have the old taskbar style down here, but that is pretty interesting. So I'll just let this load up and then I'll show you how it works. Yeah, I have no idea why it's still bugging out. So I'll just restart the VM to see if it becomes usable after the restart. And there we go. Now Tiny11 has loaded up normally and everything seems to work. So you can see that this is just a stripped down version of Windows 11. If if you guys want me to do a video on this, I would be glad to do so. But yeah, this really is Windows running from my RAM. So let's go into the file explorer just so I can show you that the disk is really 10 gigs in size. There we go, we've got 
24 kilobytes of free space. Wow, we really cut that one close. And yeah, so you basically need 10 gigs to install Tiny11. That's what we learned today. So now I'm just gonna show you that this is really running from the RAM disk. So I'll just shut this down. And if we go over to edit virtual machine settings and into the hard disk, you can see that it is running from the R drive and that is where the virtual hard disk is stored. And you can see right over here that the RAM disk is almost completely full. We actually do have one gigabyte free which is interesting, that is probably the 0.9 that we got in the 10.9 gigabytes. So we probably could have expanded the virtual disk a little bit more. But yeah, here are all of the virtual machine uh, files right on the disk. So yeah, this was a pretty cool experiment. You can actually install Windows 11 on RAM. And now I'll just show you that it does wipe every time you restart the computer and all of these files will be wiped and we won't be able to boot uh, into the virtual machine after the restart. So I'll just stop the recording and restart the computer right now and I'll be back after the restart. And here we are after the restart and you can see that the RAM disk has 1.8 gigabytes free once again and it only has the temp folder so everything else has been wiped from it. And now if we enter VMware, you can see that the machine is right here but we get this error that we can't find the virtual disk image so we can just remove it. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was fun for you to watch. If you guys have any suggestions on what you want me to try with this RAM disk next, you can leave that in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. New videos will be coming soon. Also, check out my Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video.